Let's imagine this. You finally fulfill your dream of becoming a real estate investor. You meet with your agent and sign the papers. All as well as your first tenants sign on for a one year lease and move in. You've made it. You're now getting rental income every single month. But after month three, you run into a little problem. Rent is due and your tenant cannot pay. They said hopefully next month because they just lost their job. Frustrated, you go to your record books and mark down $1,000 in rent to be received next month. Hi, I'm Nathan from Accounting University and today you will learn how receivables work in accounting in just five minutes. Now remember, you're owed $1,000 in rent by your tenant to be received at a later date. In accounting, we call this a receivable, meaning it has the potential to be received at a later date. Hence why the word ends in a bull, because you have the potential, but it's not guaranteed that you will receive that cash. Now a receivable is considered an asset because it has the potential to be received in a future date because it holds a future benefit to the business. And businesses every day are waiting to receive money from customers and other businesses. This is just a normal part of operating a business. Now for a landlord, it's unfortunate, but it's still a part of business. And in our situation, our renter still owes us a thousand dollars in rent for the month of August. So we record a journal entry in our books showing that we are waiting on that rent. To record that, we debit rent receivable showing assets going up and we credit rent revenue showing revenue going up. And each of those is for $1,000 to be received at a later date. Now let's fast forward to August 15th and suddenly the renter was able to pay half of the rent that they owed. So what do we do? Well, we have to actually adjust our books to show that half of the rent payment was received for $500. So how do we do that? Well, we record cash as an asset debited for $500. And this shows that our assets are increasing. But at the same time, we also record rent receivable as a credit for $500, showing that assets are decreasing by 500. Why? Well, we need to show that the renter paid half of what they owed. So that's why we need to have the rent receivable balance go down by $500 because they no longer owe that amount. Now our renter still owes us the remaining $500, right? Let's say that one day you show up to their apartment and all of their stuff is moved out. You are in utter disbelief. You realize you will never receive the remaining $500 for the month. Well, so how do you record the $500 that you will never receive? Now in accounting, if you estimate that you will not receive cash that you are owed, we call this a write-off. A write-off is kind of what it sounds like. You write off or remove the portion of cash that you will not receive. So in this example, we record a write-off like this. You record a debit to an account called bad debts expense of $500 to show a loss on your income statement. And you credit rent receivable showing that you will never receive that $500 in the receivable account. So rent receivable is going down. Now let's fast forward and say that in a couple days, the renter actually comes back, apologizes and offers to pay just the remaining $500 for that month. Well, in accounting, we call this a reinstatement. We must reinstate the books for the cash to be collected. Now to reinstate the receivable balance, we must debit rent receivable. Basically we're reinstating it and adding the rent receivable back to the books and we reinstate it for $500. Then we credit the bad debt expense loss to show that we're removing that loss now from the books for $500 as well. 
After that, we make another journal entry showing a debit to the cash we received for $500 and then crediting the rent receivable, removing that $500 to be received because they finally paid you. And the cool part about this is that this applies to all types of receivables, accounts receivable, notes receivable, interest receivable, tax receivable, and more. And you just learned how receivables work in accounting in just five minutes. My name is Nathan and each and every week you will learn accounting concepts just like this one in just five minutes. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so it can reach more people and consider subscribing so you don't miss another video. Until next time.